Hello and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today's video is how to set up a custom installer for your standalone builds. And what this is going to allow you to do is to have all the VC redistributables and DirectX all available when the player actually installs your game. And it will install just like a normal game and it will have a more professional feel to it. And so with that said, let's get started. So first off, I want to give a shout out to Kazgadome who actually put this installer together and also made it understandable for the lay person to easily install it and easily use it. So he was kind enough to let me make a video on it and to also put this asset in a central location. So this whole process will be available on my itch page. And as you can see, there's the three simple steps to download the guide, to download the custom install.zip, and then to follow the guide or this video tutorial to set up your custom installer. So you'll want both of these downloads. So when you download them, they should appear just like this. You'll have the PDF guide and then you'll have the custom zip. When you open the PDF, you're going to get some instructions. Now the initial setup takes a little bit. You'll have to install another software, but then after you install that first step, you'll only ever have to worry about re-downloading that zip file. And that it'll all make sense here in a little bit. So let's begin with step one, and that is to install and download the I know setup 6.1. Now he has the link right to it, and he also shows you exactly the one that you're gonna download. So when you go to that link, this is the link that you're gonna see. You're gonna see the, the file, and then you're just gonna click one of these download sites, and it's going to download. You're going to get an EXE just like this. You're going to double click into it, and you're going to install this program. Once this program is installed, You'll have an icon right here, but you'll never need to worry about using it directly. It will all be used through the zip file that is provided. All right, so now that step one is done, we can move on to step two. And step two is to download and extract the zip file that contains the PGM setup.iss. Now, he has a link right here that you can click that goes to his Google Drive, or this is also the custom install.zip that is provided on the itch page. So you can download either this one or the one on his drive. They are both the same and they both will be updated accordingly as they come. So once you download that, you now have this zip and you can extract that zip. And if you click into it, you can now see that we have the PGM setup.iss. We also have another icon that we'll get into here in a minute. So with that said, now there is some, a little bit of setup to do in this file right here. So we can right click and we can create a new folder and we need to call it source. All right. And actually, if I click back on here, that is the third step, create a subfolder called source or SRC, and then copy your game files and the DX web setup in there. So if we go back to that uh, custom thing, it says that we need to put this DX web setup inside the source. Okay. And then it said to also put all your build files in there. So I have a build set up already in the documents output. So here's all the files and it wants the raw files. So no, no parent folder. So I'm going to copy these. We're going to go back to where that PGM custom installer is. And inside the source folder, we're going to paste them all in here. Okay, so now we have all the setup complete for step three. So now we can move along. Step three is done. Also make sure that the name is SRC for that folder. So step four, now we can open the pgm.setup.iss file. So we're gonna go back to the folder. We're gonna go to the custom install right here and now we can open the pgm.setup.iss. Now we're going to have a box like this here. Let me adjust this, get it a little bigger. And here we will need to input some data. So let's go back to the guide, go down to five. And it says that we need to modify the section custom setup info. Now it's really cool. We can actually name our game. We could give it a version. So here's the name, here's the version, here's the publisher, the copyright, a website for it. So now I will go into the ISS file scroll down and here we can find those selections real quickly i'll just name uh, the title of the game the version publisher and then we could even copy paste 
that publisher right here. And then you can add your website if you want. Now the player.exe, this is referring to the name. Let me go back in here. That is of the source. So this player.exe, if you haven't changed that name, then you'll leave it player.exe. All right, so we have it all. Let's see here. Did I get that right? Yep. All right, so everything is on there. Now we can go back to the next instruction, which is to number six, click on the play button on the top. And so if we go to the ISS, we can click on the screen play button and it's going to compile the game into an exe. And what the the reason why he said this way you create a setup file and test it immediately, what this does is it just goes through the steps, it creates the exe for you, and then it also tests out the installation. So once it's done compiling, we will start to get commands to install the game. So obviously I have to give the okay for that. And then we get to select our language and we'll hit okay. And then you, if you can notice, this is like a, a professional installer right here. So we're installing it in the programs 86 folder. We are saying what we want the name to be, and we can say, don't create a start menu folder if we want. And we can allow or uh, have an option to have to create a desktop shortcut. And so when I click next, and here's the other things that it's going to do. So when you hit install, it's going to be doing the DirectX, or it's going to check for it at least. So there it made sure that all the VCs are installed and everything is set up to go. And now the last step is, is we can launch Spell Blaster. So let's give it a shot. Hope it's not too loud. Can't remember if the sound's on. Yep. All right. And there we go. Okay. So the game started. That was the test, obviously. So now we can go to the uh, seventh step, which says that the complete setup is stored in the folder called installer. So let's check out what that means. If you go back to the custom install, you'll see that now there is a new folder called installer. And you will open that up and there is your file. So what you can easily do is copy or cut however you want to do. And you can, let's just see here, paste this uh, somewhere. Also notice that the icon for the game showed up right there. It even named it, had a, had a name for the for the game. And so what you'll do is you will add this onto your itch page, or you could zip it up even if you wanted a readme file along with it. And so that is how you can do a standalone copy. Now, once you're done with this custom install, you can just go ahead and delete it. And this was what I was saying by I could probably close this out too here. And if it asks you to save, you don't need to save it. So you can just click no. And so then you can delete it. So I'll just show you, I'll just delete it right here. And so then if I ever wanted to do another build, what I just found to be easier would be to just unzip this again and just start over. And we also don't need the I know setup anymore since that program's installed. So literally all you would ever need again is these two files, unzip this, follow the instructions, go through the process, make your exe, and then if, for instance, if I click on this again, it's going to come up with the installer instructions. So this is what exactly what the player is going to see when they go to install your game. And as it did show here, if we go to this computer, uh, 86 right here, we can see that Spell Blaster is now a part of the official program files. <laughs> so it's a nice touch for your game. So anyway, once again, this is all available on itch or on Cassic Dome's uh, guide. You can search it on Discord if you want. And really cool that we have this for standalone versions. A uh, Steam version we're looking into, we're gonna hopefully have one for that. That'll have a whole video on its own. And so with that said, I'll see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.